in the previous video I showed you how to check your radiator fan and your cooling fan relay which is this guy right here by using the paperclip method and turning your ignition once if your radiator fan turned on that meant that your fan was obviously working and that your relay is working because without the relay the fan wouldn't turn on now let's say you've checked your radiator fan it's working and now you want to check your relay uh, by using the paperclip method so you, you try the paperclip method and your fan doesn't turn on uh, next thing you want to check is your relay your relay is probably bad if you want to double check though on uh, other videos they had told you to told you to switch to switch your relays and uh, after learning a little bit more about how relays work I figured out that these two on my car are the same if I can just take them out so you can go ahead and switch them the way we want to test our cooling fan relay is by replacing the heater motor relay so what we want to do is take this 12 volt uh, relay off and put the 12 volt uh, cooling fan relay on and we want to test it by turning on the heater inside the car if the heater turns on that means your relay is working uh, if your heater doesn't turn on that means your relay is bad uh, so let's go ahead and give that a try so here we have to have the ignition on and we can go ahead and turn on our heater and it's actually the fan that's turning on and uh, that way you can know if the relay is working so I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the relay so you guys can see that without the relay the fan inside the car doesn't work just get it off and the fan is off you guys can see there you go. So now that we've checked the relay, we want to see if there's power coming into the relay. Uh, to do that, we're going to need a voltmeter. And we're going to test for uh, voltage. The polarity doesn't matter in this case. And we're going to start by testing the left side of these four holes. So for this left side, I get 12 volts. Now for the right side, the right side of the four holes, I need I have a zero, and this is because the ignition is off. And in order to test it, I need to have the I need to use a paperclip method and have the ignition turned once. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you guys, so you guys can see the voltage change. So we read 12 volts on the right side. Again, polarity doesn't matter. We're just testing for uh, power. Um, so hopefully this helps you out in diagnosing your uh, relay problems. If you don't have power coming in, that, that means that you have a wiring problem.